So the big trade tree finally comes to an end. Back in February of 2020, we had a trade made with the San Jose Sharks and the Capitals with Brendan Dillon. Included was a third round pick. Eventually, this pick was traded over to Montreal in exchange for a fourth round pick last year, and the Montreal Canadiens have used this pick at 87th overall in the third round of the 2021 draft to draft Dmitry Kostenko who is a pretty interesting name. He is so obscure, Elite Prospects doesn't even have a picture on him. No, but in all seriousness, he is a right-handed, lanky, rangy defenseman, 6 feet tall, 168 pounds, who is ranked to go in this range. 70th by Future Considerations, 88th by TSN and Bob McKenzie. Look at TSN and Bob McKenzie nailing these picks, man. He goes 87th overall in real life. He is projected to go 88th by them. 60th by Draft Prospects Hockey, 78th by Dauber. So what the Canadians are doing here are pretty much just going out there and taking the guy who slips through the cracks. A right-handed defenseman from Russia, one of the oldest players in this draft. 92502 is his birthday right here, September 25th. He's a guy who played really extraordinarily well for Ladia Togliati last year, getting 20 points in 27 games played. This year, though, he split time between the MHL club and the VHL club. Lada Togliati had 10 points in 40 games played in the VHL, which is pretty much the AHL of Russia. In the Junior League, though, Ladia Togliati, he had 9 points in 10 games. Interesting to note, though, this team, pretty bad. Like, really not a good team out there. They only had, like, two or three effective players. Let's go over to Dauber Prospects, talk about what exactly Kostenko's scouting report is over here. They say, It's an interesting case of a player who clearly exhibits skill, skating, and creativity while playing on a team that has very few other players that stack up. When in the VHL, he had little help. On the MHL club, outside of Fyodor Svechkov, who eventually went to the Nashville Predators, there wasn't really much to work with up front. He is at his best when he's able to find himself some room with his feet and the puck on his stick and then dishing passes around the offensive zone. He plays with a bit of deception, looking off opponents and threading a no-look pass off his backhand or faking a shot and finding teammates on the back door. There are indeed some concerns as a defenseman, somewhat lackadaisical, really a lot more improvements to be made over there. Tony Ferrari does a pretty good job kind of just analyzing the draft pick over here. They do say at the end of the day, Kostenko is going to be an interesting development project, and that's kind of what I'm seeing in him as well. Obviously, playing for Lada Togliati and Ladia Togliati, it's not really the best development curve over here, but he'll be heading over to Spartak Moscow in the KHL next season, so... For the Canadians, you know, it's the third round. You're going to go out there, take who you like. The Habs need right-handed defensemen either way. So why not go out there, take yourselves a guy who is a pretty skilled player, but who is just playing on a pretty bad team. So this is the Canadians 87th overall pick. Dmitry Kostenko, talk to me in the comments what you think about this draft pick. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.